Hello, I'm Sandra Rappaport, Roman historian, and I was just, I just appeared on um, Talk Radio um, UK and talking about April Fool's Day and its origins. Unfortunately, my segment was a little bit short, so I didn't get to give all of the fun information that I managed to dig up on this really fun holiday. So I thought I would take this time to make a little video and share the rest of it with you. With you. So what I like about April Fool's Day is that it, like the holiday itself, it's, it, it's just kind of fools you. It, there isn't a definite beginning. There isn't a definite start for when this happens. Who was the first to throw an April Fool's Day? Um, you know, uh, who was the first one to have an April Fool's Day prank? So on and so forth. So what what I've done is, um, you know, it's it's also it's a flexible holiday too, and how it changes with the different cultures and the different times. And it, we, I have found origins of this holiday back to ancient Egypt. And all the way through uh, Rome in, in the Middle Ages, um, up until up until now, and it's it's there's some things that are the same and some things that are different, but on the whole, it is about having fun and about being able to to prank a little bit to have to to be able to express yourself um, in a fun way after after a long winter in the beginning of spring. And it's also an opportunity for, for children, children love this holiday, to experiment with, with pranking their, their elders, their adults, to get to break the rules a little bit in a fun and acceptable way. Um, so let's, let's start out. Um, in ancient Egypt, like I said, we're going to be talking about how it was, it was, um, it was part of um, a festival of, 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 of merriment. Of, for the celebration of um, the reuniting of Isis and Osiris um, after Osiris had been killed and Isis reunited him. And it was a festival of merriment. Um, that one actually occurred around November 3rd, but it had um, influence on the Romans. And um, they also had celebrations of merriment. And they also, also took up the cult of Isis as well. And she became a, an acceptable Roman god as well. And so you see this in the festival of Hilaria, which it sounds very similar to hilarious because it is, it's supposed to be joyful, joyful fun. And so it, this was the cult of, of Cybele and Attis, her, her lover. And it is celebrating his resurrection after he had died. And um, it is, a great festival with masks and and um, games and merriment and silly little gifts and you know and even um, it even reminds me a little bit of Saturnalia too which is a winter festival but it's also about merriment and fun and the owners can be slaves and the slaves can be owners and everybody wears crazy hats and has a good time and plays little jokes on each other and gives out little silly gifts and stuff it, it there's a lot of these little festivals of merriment and um, so April Fool's Day is has its origins in, in some of that. And then you see it popping up again um, throughout the early Middle Ages and in, in becoming more and more popular throughout the Middle Ages. There is um, perhaps a reference to it in Chaucer, um, but also in the Middle Ages, um, it gets kind of fun, like more like how we do it, little pranky things. Um, in in the in France, Italy, Belgium, French-speaking countries, I think they even do it a little bit in Canada still. Uh, they call it Poisson d'Avril, which is poor French for uh, the fish of April, the April fish, because in April um, you get these really tasty young fish, and they're apparently really easy to catch. And so on April Fool's Day, you would um, find a way to attach a paper fish to someone's back without them knowing and how long it would stay on there because and then you could joke with them that they're as easy to fool as these young April fish. Um, and it was also called All Fool's Day as well. And it was about playing jokes or or sending people out on fool's errands and, um, you know, playing. It's always there's always been little times when you play jokes in your family and your friends and your neighbors. It's all has to be good hearted though and 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 it has to be met with you know it's supposed to be funny for both sides another possible origin 
of this um, goes to the change in the Gregorian calendar in 1582. Um, when they were changing from the Julian calendar, which had 365.25 um, days each year, and then they switched to um, doing it to the leap days and everything, um, what happened was also during that time is that um, New Year's Day um, went from being April 1st to being um, January 1st. And, um, you know, it, it, people who didn't catch on to the change or people still celebrated New Year's on April 1st, they were sometimes called April Fools because it was no longer New Year's Day. Um, so um, each culture celebrates this in a different day. You see it pop up in Scotland. You see references to it in, in, in Gaelic um, tradition. Um, in every, you know, in the United States, it's become more of a kid's holiday, but still we play little pranks on each other, even as adults. And if you notice that newspapers will often put out funny reports, um, one year, um, you know, um, American, oh, NPR, uh, it was 1992, announced that Richard Nixon was running for president yet again. And <laughs> that was hilarious. But so newspapers and news organizations and even governments sometimes get involved in the fun. And so it's all, all in the good spirit of fun and for April Fool's Day. And so that is my more complete explanation of the origins of April Fool's Day. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I have to go plan a prank for my son. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Happy April Fool's Day.